some tips for Excel here, which can be very useful, especially if you're dealing with large data sets, and it can save you tons of time. Chances are, though, that if you are experienced in Excel, you already know all of this, that would be great. But if there is just one of them you do not know, this will be, this coming minutes will be well invested time. So let's get started. Number one, when you are going to mark a section of your data sheet, so before, you know, you want to go from here and all the way down or something like that. This was how I used to do it. You drag and drag and drag and it takes forever. You don't need to do that. You trick, uh, when you have a cursor in a cell like that, there you want to start, you press Control, Shift, and then any arrow, like, like down or up or left. And it will go all the way until it's a blank space, I do believe, like that. Okay, number two, very similar. So let's say we have uh, we have calculated something, just one cell times the other, and then we are w then we want to do the same operation all the way down here, like that. Again, drag it all forever. It's very boring. <laughs> so, but what you can do, and I can't believe I didn't know this, you. You can autofill it, and it will just copy the equation all the way down. You put your cursor just here, and you double click, and and it's have autofilled it all the way down. And did I do that? Maybe. Okay. So number four. Okay, you want to rotate your vector. Say you have some data, and um, uh, you want to you want to have this is like uh, in a column right so you want to have it in a row instead so let's take some data here and uh, copy it and instead of just paste it in you press paste special and here's an option which is called transpose and then it will be uh, flipped like that can also save you a lot of time. Okay, so number four. How can you reverse a vector? Okay, so let's say you have uh, you want to flip this. You know, you want to have this as the last number and this as the second last number and so forth. So th let's say the data is in the wrong direction. So how can you do that in Excel? So one way you could do it, or the only one I can figure out actually is to have something in between besides which you which you are um, sorting it after like that you have a column besides which are just one two three four and now you right you can uh, you can uh, sort it after that column so I would sort it after Okay, it's blank here. That's because there's nothing here. We just write something here for clarity. So we want to sort by this one. And if I want to reverse this entire vector, I could take from largest to smallest, and I sorted it by the the last column. Okay. And everything will be reversed like we wanted. In this case, actually, I didn't have to do that because I could uh, sort it after this uh, time stamp here also. Okay, last one. Uh, do do do. I want to. I have some data looking like this. This is from a CSV comma separated uh, values. So you see, I want to have the date here in one cell and I want to have the two in another cell. The all everything here is in the same cell. So the way I used to do that were to put everything in uh, in um, what do you call it? The nodes. Save it. 
And I already did it before. So, and then I, and I saved this, I would open it. Um, and I have to choose all files here, because otherwise it only see the Excel files. And I can open it, and then this dialog box will appear. So, and then I can choose uh, to uh, have a comma here as a delimiter. And uh, then it would split it up like that. So, okay. But actually, <laughs> there is an option in Excel. If you go back to this, this one, sorry if it's a little messy here, but if you go back to this one, there is an option so you can do it right in Excel. And uh, I just learned that weeks ago, by the way. So where is it? Uh, text to columns and the same dialog box appear and we can do the same selections a comma as a delimiter and finish great okay thanks for watching